What is your feeling about um, the, the address? You listened to it an hour, almost an hour, 15 minutes long. Uh, what is what was your general pickup from that uh, address? Um, my feeling is that uh, the president was able to address issues that concerns the nation, issues that uh, have really Kenyans have been asking whether there is hope. And at the end of the day, with the president uh, address today, we can see clearly that there is light at the uh, end of the tunnel because he has been able to articulate uh, a number of things. Issues to do with the cost of living, he has been very categorical that he's going to follow up his uh, transformation agenda whereby he must make sure that he empowers Mwananshi. That is a common man and expression on issues to do with agriculture. And we are doing very well. And uh, you see, there is no way this country is going to take uh, to come back again on track unless we are able to boost uh, uh, issues to do with agriculture. Because one of his promises was to eradicate hunger in this country. And uh, to empower Kenyans, we must ensure that the farmer is taken care of. Issues to do with the hustler, again, uh, the hustler fad has taken shape at the same time. Today, we have heard of uh, experiences coming from all of all the corners of the country, whereby, for the first time, Kenyans are confident, the world is confident that Kenyans are creditworthy. You look at issues to do with health, again, the reforms that are taking place, they might be painful, and uh, most of the things the president is doing are really painful to Kenyans when it comes to issues to do with taxation. But what he's telling Kenyans is that for us to come out of the big hole, we have to sacrifice or work together. And uh, if you get a, a healthy nation, you have to ensure that the country is uh, well fed. At the same time, the health issues that affect our people, issues to do with the diseases, the way to fight uh, 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 the abuse that we have been encountering. And with the reforms that have taken place through uh, the, the reforms that are being carried out through the bill that was introduced, issues to do with health care, primary care, and also preventive issues, the country will be able to move forward. And uh, it will not be easy for us to do so. We have to sacrifice here and there. There are some that have said there are some concerns and they feel like there's a very slow pace in implementation. Do you feel that? The pace is, you should understand that where we are coming from, that uh, we had been endangered. The, if we had moved the way the country was moving, and we did not take those stringent measures that are a bit painful, the country could have gone to dogs. If you look at the countries uh, that are, were at the same position that we are today, countries like uh, Ghana, they have already been blacklisted. If you look at the issues we are dealing with, with our debt, uh, uh, question about debt, like the, the euro boards, that are really pinning. Because every day that comes, the way shilling is going down, every day inflation goes up. Every day the dollar goes up. It means the country is borrowing without really going to anywhere uh, to ask for any resource, resources from any country. Because any increment, if the dollar today is 150, tomorrow the dollar goes to 152. It means the country is, buy, is borrowing $2 for every $1 that uh, every inflation comes coming in. Meaning, with the euro boat, with the debt that we're having in the country, even without borrowing, Kenyans will suffer, we will undergo the pain. I'm happy that the president has uh, already cleared the issue, that on the issue of euro boat that is coming up uh, in June, maturity, already 500 billion will be paid, uh, uh, allowed, allowed 500 million euro uh, uh, dollars will be paid by end of uh, December this year. And by June next year, we shall have already been able to pay up uh, the boat. So no default. Meaning there is no default, meaning we shall be opening the head roof once again that we can be able now to factor in development uh, uh, in, our, uh, uh, in, our, in, in our budget. And that is how you are going to spur the economy of this country. Thank you very much.